Is this your husband? Yes. And your husband has a child, one or more? Two. Two. Children with the defendant. Correct. And they have been divorced for how long? Um, they were never married. Okay. Do you work? Yes. Do you have a child support order? Yes, I do. Because the children live with you? Yes. And what is your last name? Chagoya. Mr. Chagoya is supposed to pay how much in child support? Uh, $316 a month. Do you get that money? No, I don't. Who gets that money? He doesn't make uh, consistent payments. When he makes payments, who gets the money? I get the money and it's for my children. Okay. Somehow, can't figure out how, she's going to tell me, Mrs. Chagoya's paycheck got garnished to pay his child support order. Is that what happened? Correct. And she wants her money back. She's entitled to her money back. She's not responsible to pay his child support. I don't... I feel like I don't owe her any money. I don't he care owes what you, me. I don't care what you feel. I'm telling you what the law is. You have two children with him. He has a child support obligation. He has to pay that obligation. If he doesn't pay that obligation, you can't say, well, let your wife pay it, or let your brother pay it, or we'll take it out of Bird's salary. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. And if some idiot in child support enforcement said, oh, I see a name, that's a similar name, this is a job, and they started to take money out of her paycheck, you have to return it to her. Show me. Thank you. In May, we received a garnishment order for a ticket that I had unpaid. It was a, a traffic violation. So when I started my job, uh, my employer received withholding order of $390. So for every paycheck from the day that the order was received, 10% was garnished. Okay. So I have... $390. Correct. That was for a ticket that you didn't pay. Correct. When did they start taking out money for your husband's child support obligation? So it began June 1st of 2015, and it went on... 20... 15. 15? Correct. And it continued until when? Until I did the demand order last June. June of 2017. Correct. So, is what you're telling me that you paid his child support order for three years? I thought it was done and over with $390. It was paid. Two months later, my employer received a second garnishment order saying, hey, why haven't was you... Was that June 1st? That was August 19th. So, first garnishment order... I don't care about the ticket. Right. Let's put the ticket aside. That's okay. your responsibility. Right. I don't care about it. You pay the $390. Correct. That was satisfied. That's in that pile. Right, but that, that's, that's where the problem is. The $390 never made it to pay for my ticket. What happened was the federal tax board received the garnishment and applied it to this child support order because our social security numbers are linked since we filed joint taxes. So they saw that a, <laughs> there was a balance due so that my ticket was never paid. I received yet a second garnishment order from my employer, and they said, we need to take it again because they haven't received your payment. So I got garnished a second time beginning August Shh. through November. I got it. So now, <laughs> having November, they sent, okay, now release the levy, now we have our money. So you actually paid for the ticket twice. Twice. These are, this is um, an audit from their child support case that lists two payments total, that total my $390 that was first applied. And that was in July and August of yep. 2015. Correct. Did you try to discuss it with her? During that time, and the reason this, you know, it's a, there's this huge gap, there had been a custody issue with arrangements of custody and child support, really, that it was a conflict of interest. You know, here I have my husband trying to get custody of his children, and then I have these 390 that are kind of flying around. And does their father see them? Right now, the custody agreement is only when the children want to see Dad. How old are they? The oldest one is now 18, and the youngest oh. is 14. Okay. So they're older children. They are. I did. And? I, it was briefly a conversation saying, like, you know what, I think my payments are applied. I have nothing to do with it. You have to go discuss it with child support. I didn't really feel that it was my time and place to bring this up at the time. Got it. So... You have to give her back a $390. She's not responsible for his child support order. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank you very much. We're done. I didn't even get to talk. You don't have to talk.